All right, welcome back. Sunday you saw me taking in, in uh, how to do the air compressor on this, how to get it in and out of here. I was gonna show you how to charge the system up using these gauges here. And I already vacuumed out the system and everything. But when I went to hook up the Freon cans to this uh, valve right here, my old one, it leaked air, uh, Freon everywhere. So I had to go get another one. So today is Monday. And it's after work and I'm doing this. Now I've seen people out here talking about you got to take them to a dealership. You got to buy all these high dollar gauges and everything. This is all Harbor Tool stuff. Harbor Tools. I think I got about 50 bucks involved in this. And I've had this system for a while now. I mean it works just as great as the big high dollar Mac on Mac and Snap-ons and all that. It's got it's high size. It's got it's low side. This one here is red for high. I haven't put it on yet. Now I did put my low side on, but if you look back in there, you see the blue thing back there? That's my low side. And in this car here in particular is a pain in the butt to get on. So it took me about 10 minutes to move stuff around to get to it. And it's real simple to put them on. Just pull up these little levers right here. Make sure your valves are already up. So that way you're not pushing down on that Schrader valve. Just put up, push down, clip on, it's on. All right, I'm gonna put you back on the tripod now because we're gonna vacuum out the system again. And that's the trick is to make sure you get as much air and stuff out of the system as you can. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hook this thing on. Hook this thing up right here to this, nothing fancy. Don't need to tighten it down too tight, just good and snug. I'm gonna reach in here and open up this valve on this, I close this valve down some. Oh, I better show you that. If you look, you'll see that gauge right there move. Right, I'm get my hand back in here. That's all you need to do, just make the gauge move. That's all you need to do. On the red one here, we're gonna open it up. We'll screw it down. So I'll bump, that's all it needs to do. All right. Now we're just gonna hook up the evacuator here and let it suck it dry. See the gauges. And she's sucking. So we'll come back here in about 30 minutes and see where she's at. Alright, it's been about 35 minutes or so. I would like for that gauge to got down there a little closer to 30, but hey, I stopped it there. And we're just going to sit here and let it hold for a few minutes. You might be able to hear in the background my air compressor has been running. And it's freaking hot out here and the motor on it's hot. So I didn't want to overheat it too bad. So that's good enough for me. Good enough for me. So while we're waiting here, we'll just go ahead and disconnect this. My thing here. We'll get it out of the way. Just sit it over on the ground. And this is the tool that broke on me yesterday. Let me put you back on the tripod here. And we'll just get this thing ready to set up. Oh. So we'll just take this thing here and we'll just screw it on. No big deal. It ain't got to be super tight or nothing. But make sure this valve's all the way up so that way it doesn't penetrate this can. And we'll just hook this up.
just snug. I mean, you ain't got to cr crank them down. Now I got all my valves shut off. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this in. That way it penetrates a can. And once I've done that, I'm just going to release it. Now, this hose here is full of air now. We do not want this back in our system. So what I do is I just come up here. I mean, it's got a valve here. In here, like your tire, like you would on your bicycle tire, your car tire. But you know, if you push that too many times, then it breaks and then you're back to square one. So I don't even fool with that. I just unloosen the middle one here. Just a little bit until I see air coming out. You're going to hear air coming out of it until I want to see Freon. And once I see Freon coming out, I just snug it back up. Now, I didn't tell you, but it's been about 30 minutes. And if you look, the gauges are still where we left them. Sorry, I didn't do the time lapse, but anyway. Tired, I'm hot. I want to get this project over with. Okay. Make sure all the valves are off. Now I'm just going to start it and turn on the air conditioning unit. AC. Uh, it's on auto. That'll work. That'll work. It's on vents. That'll work. Right now it's blowing out hot heat because there's nothing in the system. Now we'll just put the put it in there. And the way you put it in there, just turn this valve up here. Ah, sorry, I got too many things going on at once here. Just turn on this valve right here. And if you look in there, you see it bubbling, that's the Freon going in. Now this one here holds about two and a half cans. Turn the can upside down and let the liquid flow. Now this is just cheap Walmart stuff you can get at Walmart for four dollars a can. I have bought the high dollar stuff from O'Reilly's. You know it costs twenty dollars a can. It's all the same thing, just different name. It's all R134A. In a sense, buying high dollar stuff. It's going to take a few minutes here and let the pumps kick on. And you never charge here on the high side, never. Always make sure that valve's closed off. And it's closed off down here. See, it's still gurgitating in there. I Means Freon's still going in. Sometimes this takes a minute. 
Compressor's gotta do its thing. Let me go back in there and make sure I got the gauge on all the way. <sighs> Sometimes the motor's gotta rev up just a little bit to make it work right. Oh. oh, my can fell. That ain't good. Well, I found out what the problem was. That valve down there, I didn't have it turned on far enough. But we got her now. Now we're cooking with Driscoll. Steadily shaking the can a little bit. All right, I'm gonna put you back on tripod here. It's kind of hard to do this with two hands. One hand, I mean. All right, you can feel that this can's empty. But I don't want to put a whole bunch of air in the system when I take this off. So just close this valve back off. This one up here. That shuts the system down. You're going to get a little air out of here. There's no way around it. A couple little shakes. Now, I don't have to turn off the low-pressure valve upper, but I do it anyway, just to be on the safe side. All right, now I'm going to turn back on the valve up here. Let it start taking the spring on. Like I said, you can go to the shop and pay high dollar for their Freon, because it's pure Freon. These things sort of have oil in them, they have chemicals in them. It's not true all the way clear Freon, but hey man, four dollars, as long as it cools off my car, I don't care. Alright, this can's empty. I'm just gonna close this valve, just be on the safe side. You're gonna get some air out, there's nothing you can do about it. Now this particular car I have holds about two and a half for these freaking things. So that was two. Screw this thing back down on here, break the seal in the can. Open it back up. Reach up here and grab this valve, open her up. Probably about half, a little over half. Now we're going to go ahead and rev the motor up here a little bit. So we can get in on them gauges there. I'm 
gonna go ahead and rev this up to about 2,000 RPM and hold it there for a couple minutes. See, on my particular car, I have a rear uh, AC unit, mine. Oh, we're gonna let it run here a minute. That right there is dead on the money for my car. I got the rear AC going, I got the front AC going. Oh man, it's nice in here. It's freaking nice. All right. Oh. That makes me happy, happy. We'll go ahead and shut the car off. All right, now comes the fun part. Like I said, just take, an un just take this right here, just pull up on it, and there you go. There's that one. Now this one back here, like I said, is a pain in the booty. It really is a pain in the butt. <sighs> and getting back in here without breaking anything is another problem. Dang. All right, car's gonna have to cool off. I can't get to it right now, but that's how you charge your AC the cheapest way to do it Thank you folks I appreciate you guys watching my channel. Have a good day